Hey everyone, it's Benjamin from Brainboard. Uh, here's the problem. Everything's moving towards the cloud. And you all know that you need to adopt infrastructure as code. And assuming you've considered multiple uh, cloud providers, your best choice is to use Terraform as its cloud agnostic. Now, the challenge is that you gotta get your team up to speed on how to use Terraform and how you're gonna manage your cloud infrastructures once you get that code in place. Right now, I'm willing to bet that it's taking weeks, maybe even months to get your infrastructure up and running. And your DevOps team are probably pulling their hair out, trying to figure out how to create that Terraform code based on the specifications that your cloud architects have created. So what do you do? Well, you got a few options here. First is that you're gonna train. You're gonna pay a ton of money and try and upskill your team with Terraform training programs. Essentially, this is gonna be an ongoing cost as you get to train every single new hire uh, as they come in. And it'll be months before they can actually contribute to creating and managing cloud infrastructures, assuming that they use it often enough to remember how to use it. And then there's a the challenge of enforcing co uh, code quality standards as we all code differently. Your second option is to hire. You can hire DevOps engineers with Terraform experience, but be forewarned, there aren't that many engineers out there that have expert level of knowledge. And given the low supply, you can expect to pay quite a bit in salary in order to retain them. It's a more effective solution, but you'll still have to shell out for development tools uh, once you need to enforce coding and quality standards. Ultimately, you're looking at shelling out several hundred thousand dollars to go for this route. The third route is to look at going with Brainboard. Now, what does Brainboard do? Well, in the cloud infrastructure journey, we have a uh, specification going to IAC code, in this case, Terraform. And on the left side of the screen here, this is where you get all your problems. It takes a long time to do it. So what we've done is develop Brainboard, a platform that can solve all these problems for you. And the idea is that you can build cloud infrastructure and automate the system in order to create a more seamless process as you go through. Now, Brainboard has incorpor incorporated a CICD engine in order to look at the cost estimation, security checks, policy, uh, and once you have that code that is perfect, you are then able to save it as a template and thus create what's what we call a producer-consumer model where the cloud architects are creating the infrastructure and the DevOps are then consuming them. Essentially, um, you know, be able to pick a template, change some variables, um, and add some resources and then deploy and go quickly. So let's show you what that looks like uh, in real time. So here we have an Azure environment. And on the right-hand side of the screen, you can see the Terraform code design is in the middle and all the resources are on the left-hand side here. Now I can take something like an API management, drag it in here and automatically, you can see the Terraform code is generated on the right on the fly. Now the cool part is that I can then come up here to the templates and I can filter by Azure and I can choose one of these, you know, preset ones, but you guys can make your own obviously. And then I can choose it. And this is what your DevOps will do is to, you know, grab this template here, come down here to inputs, have your variables here, be able to change those either on environment architecture level, uh, whatever level you want to, and then deploy it and go. Now, the cool thing is that we have our CSC designer, and this allows you to then um, take a look at different uh, applications that we have in here. So we have in cost estimation with InfraCost, we have security checks with TFSEC, uh, and then you can basically put a, uh, a, um, a workflow in place such that you can do the plan, run all these different checks on it, and then have it have an email sent to someone so that they can then approve it and then deploy and then notify afterwards. The idea here is that you want to streamline the process. You want to make it easier for people to be able to create infrastructures, visually be able to see it. There's a 100% reflection between the code and the design and then deploy it easier going, going forward. So this is gonna save a ton of time for your team. It's gonna standardize the process and you're gonna be able to see exactly what you're dealing with and who's managing it and how they're managing it. If you wanna know more, be happy to give you more information. Please shoot me a note, benjamin.scogren at brainboard.co. I'll also include this information in there. But other than that, it's been a pleasure talking to you.